This is Joshua Peterson with Peterson Electric. We're here in Denver today for customer. They needed some outlets in their kitchen and we came out and the complaint was um, not enough outlets and what about the circuits? Uh, this kitchen only had two circuits and the whole kitchen running everything, dishwasher, disposal, microwave, fridge, all of it. Um, one of the concerns is this house is like an 1805, um, it's in Washington Park, excuse me, 1905 in Washington Park. And the com problem is, is these walls are like solid brick and they're about sometimes 18 inches to 24 inches deep. So we came up with this really good idea for them. We weren't too hip on the counter outlets that we've heard about because I don't like water getting in them. Um, but we came up with this idea. We mounted the outlets up high underneath. They're still GFI and they still meet their code requirement to the sink. And then in here, we decided to put in a switched outlet so they can put some LED lights and put some low voltage underneath and they're going to put a skirt. And we also have another GFI outlet here and then a divider over here as well. And then we were able to get them because they had a really bad looking box up here with a conduit. We were able to rewire it, put it down below here. Um, but let me show you how we did that. We came through the back side of the wall and we piped it all. And so we basically came in here and just put half inch conduit, drilled our holes and connected our dots and then repulled our circuits to our panel right over there through the window. So that is one way that we've avoided having to chisel into the brick. Uh, this brick was somewhat soft, but we still don't like chiseling into it because it still can weaken this load bearing wall that's been here for almost 100 years. So we basically just drilled some small holes and piped it all together. Anyways, guys, thanks for joining us. Have a good week.